Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. So once again, we are making a video where I try to do things that I've never done before. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I don't fail as bad, but you know, candle making. This should be interesting. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I really don't have any expectations. I have bought some extra pigment related stuff so that we can try and make candles of different colors, of different shapes and sizes. I basically just tried to find the most beginner friendly candle making kit that I could possibly find because I am just naturally messy when it comes to making things. Look at the front. I stupidly used a pen. If I struggle though, I do have a friend that is amazing at making candles. He owns a small business called Bloom. This is it right here. He said if I have any trouble, he should be able to help me with it. And this is not sponsored by Bloom in any way, but I actually did this cool collaboration with him. It's super eco-friendly. And for every sale, they actually plant a tree as well. But to make it even more fun, this candle right here, you see this one? Do you recognize the art? Pro probably not if you're not on Instagram. This is my art on a candle. Look, these are actually special labels that can be peeled off and stuck. They're basically vinyl stickers that can be stuck to anything if you want to take it off. Again, this is limited edition. This is for Earth Day. And for every single candle that sells, $5 will be donated to the World Wildlife Foundation to help save polar bears. They have reed diffusers. They've also just started making soap. Like, look at this. Is this not the most beautiful soap you've ever seen in your life? If this video gets 15,000 likes, I will attempt to make soap. Please feel free to support them. These candles are just literally so beautiful. Oh, they smell so good. It's like pine, but also just naturey and sweet at the same time. Okay, so in this soap kit, we're gonna show you, it's got a little bee on it. So you know, stuff's got a bee on it. It's gonna be amazing. That was, I hate that I've just did that. Inside, ooh, okay. We have a chicken temperature gauge. Digital thermometer. I don't know why you need a thermometer. I thought you just melted it and poured it in, but we'll find out, I suppose. Next up, we have two huge bags. I feel like this is a soy wax kit. I can't remember. I feel like I bought a soy wax one. We got these two big bags here. One is bigger than the other. We have some bee warning. Okay, so normally you put these on the bottom of the, of the jars, like these have warning labels. I'm guessing that's basically, ex yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Um, so we've got some stickers. We've got three. Okay, yeah, it literally says soy wax candle there. Someone let me know what the difference is between soy and regular wax. I could Google it, but you know, it'll be more fun to hear from you. So I'm hoping that I can learn enough from this, but if I don't, I'll obviously do some research, but we have our instruction manual here. There's not too many steps. Oh yes, there's more, Never mind. We've got a box. We've got a box. Okay. I hope it's not broke. Oh, it's got the, these are the, the wicks. And I think I've seen these things before. I think they hold the wick in place. We have a jug. We have a pokey stick. And then we have, what the heck is that? Ooh, oh, okay. I saw this and I thought it was really cool. And this is one of the, this is one of the many reasons that I bought this kit because they actually have a mold. If you can see inside there, I don't wanna break it, but it's a rose mold. You can make a rose candle. He makes a funny noise. Okay, then we have, oh, we've got our fragrance. Okay, so we've got our fragrances here. We have jasmine, we have lavender, and then we also have lemon. Nice quality little pitcher. Reminds me of the pitcher from Matilda. And in this last box, I believe these are glass. Look how cute these are. You got a clear one. You got a black one. The, wow, this is a very classy candle. And then you have another one. So we have three here, which is really nice. And then I'm also gonna maybe attempt to make a rose, but I feel like that's gonna, it's probably gonna look like a butt, not a rose, but we'll see. Step one. Cover your work area with butcher paper or newspaper. Spills and drips are mostly unavoidable. Oh no. First, you'll need to heat your containers. Which containers though? Preheat the oven to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or the lowest temperature setting. Place the containers you'll be using. The wax will need to be heated to a temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. This is when we use this. So I bought this by, what's it called? Mm, my, mu, 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 it doesn't matter. Pigment powder, which is apparently non-toxic. I basically have this entire set of mica powder, which is gonna come in handy, not just for this video, but obviously I'm an artist, so I'm an artist. I'm gonna use this for my own kind of like painting. Oh, look how pretty that one is. 
I'll leave a link to this in the description too if you're interested, but beautiful pigments. I wanna make one this color. I feel like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two candles that have different colors in them and then one candle that's just plain. And I might make a red rose though, because you know, you gotta have a red rose. So I'm gonna go downstairs now and melt some of the wax. And what I'm gonna do first of all is melt it into a regular candle. Then I'll go ahead and add some mica powder to make maybe like a blue candle or something. So we'll see. So this was a double boiler kind of deal. So basically I boiled up some water and then you put some wax into the pitcher kind of metal container. Then it goes into the boiling water which melts it kind of like you do with chocolate but this definitely ain't chocolate because it smells weird. Fairly satisfying shot here of the wax melting. In reality, this took probably like seven minutes and 24 seconds to melt completely. Not that I counted. Gave it a bit of a stir with a thermometer instead of the stick which came with it. And you apparently have to make sure the wax doesn't go above 200 degrees. So I checked it a few times before I removed it. I'm back with my saucepan and my melted wax. I think what I'm gonna do first of all is make just a plain white candle. Add the glue dot to the bottom. What's a glue dot? Ah, that's a glue dot. Oh, it's very sticky. I see why they call it a glue dot now. Stick that on that. And then we just put it to the bottom. Okay, there's our wick. Then we have these things, which just apparently rest on top of the candle. Just, we'll just do that. And then... Okay, in there. Ooh, look at me, I'm so fancy. Pour the wax slowly into the container. Make sure not to fill past the widest part of the jar. That's literally it, and then you just let it dry. Oh, it's a candle. Oh, I probably shouldn't be holding it because that'll probably, that'll probably cause the wax to be stuck on the sides, won't it? What I would like to do now, I'm gonna add some pigment to this for my rose. I want to make it a little bit red. I'm not sure how much I need. I'm guessing I don't need a huge amount, but we'll just see how it goes. Just gonna use one of my sticks. Ooh, that looks very pretty. I'm not sure if it's just gonna dry as pretty as that, but it looks very pretty. Let's move this out of the way to harden. This thing is very confusing because if you want to have this be an actual candle instead of just a ball of rosy wax, you have to actually make a hole. It's got crap on it. On the bottom of it. I think what I'm going to do, honestly, is do it without the wick and if it turns out okay, maybe then create a hole. Okay, that looks orange actually. Maybe add a bit of purple. Add a, like make a purpley reddish kind of shade. Okay, I think that should be good. I don't know what I'm doing. I've said that a lot, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I think we'll stick it here and see how it goes. so cold there's a lot of bubbles though so fingers crossed the other side is at least okay this candle over here does not appear to be drying whatsoever but i'm thinking i still have some of this left i could maybe use that as a base for the next candle so i kind of want to try and do a gradient of colors will it show through here probably not maybe we should use something else for that right so i've got this glass jar here this one's clear so hopefully it'll be an okay shape for a candle since i still have like some purplish red left i could just kind of pour it in and make it the base color so i have three candles ready to go i've got this one which still complete liquid this one which is also still liquid and this one. What I want to do next is wait for those to harden, wait for this layer to harden, heat some more wax up because I have this extra big bag here and I'll probably try and do like a gradient. So maybe I'll go to like purple, then blue, then green. Okay, this one has kind of dried. It looks 
pretty ugly. There's this white stuff on the top. I'm not sure why. Like, I don't know what that is. It kind of goes away if I touch it. This probably took like 10 minutes to get to this point. This one is definitely still not dry and I don't want to mess with it, but this one has been like 20 minutes and it's done nothing dry. I've just realized I forgot to put a wick in this. It doesn't want to stick. Eh. Maybe it will hold itself in place and be fine. That's fine. And I'm gonna go melt some more wax. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my melted wax. So, ugh, I've just noticed that there's weird, oh, this one's drying too. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. It's got a weird, it's like fungi. It's on this one too. I don't understand what I did wrong. I've just heated up some more wax. The only issue is, I didn't clean it out, so the whole pot of wax is semi-purple, which is fine because I'm obviously going to be adding more purple to it. Add a bit more purple in. It looks so magical when it's in the liquid, and then you look at it in the jar and it's just kind of nasty looking, to be honest. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of worried though that this might be too hot and remelt that wax, so maybe I'll see what the temperature is. Yeah, that's fine. There's no, there's no like temperature issue with that. We're just gonna mix it up. Okay. Gonna pour this and try and keep this, this wick steady. Look how magical that looks. Oh, that's so cool. I think what I wanna do now is use this jar and just make it purple. Look at that, how beautiful that is. It's kind of separating a lot, but it looks beautiful. I forgot to add the wick again. Has anyone else had this issue as well, or am I just forgetful? Okay, we've got our two candles. They look quite cool. I kind of want to just add like some green on top, to be honest. And I think it's going to look pretty neat. This one is actually curing nicely. I think it's going to be good. This is a lengthy process. I will tell you that right now. This does take a few hours because you have to keep stopping, starting, melting more wax. Okay, so I was just feeling this like rose thing and I'm pretty sure at this point it is hardened. Like it feels underneath like it's hardened. So I think I'm gonna risk taking it out just to see. Um, it's been out now for about, I would say an hour and a half or so. So it should be okay. Um, I'm very nervous. kind of worked but it also broke apart i'm not sure why either because it's not even warm anymore maybe i just maybe i took it out too soon but look it's a broken rose wow right let's go make some more wax and see how it comes out i'm definitely gonna need to put more wax into this black candle here because it's got a few cracks on it but yeah it's looking good i'm pretty happy okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep this rose white just make a simple white rose so i'm just gonna put it in basic regular wax and i'm gonna put a little bit of fragrance in with it just because jasmine smells quite nice i'm gonna do it over here so that i don't move it or touch it or anything boom okay done but i'm gonna put a little bit on top of there just to kind of fill those cracks and hopefully that'll be set my room right now is probably like 86 degrees because it's really hot outside and the AC is broken. So these candles are taking longer than normal to actually cure or harden, whatever you call it. We can see how that looks. I definitely don't think that's enough pigment, so we're gonna add some more. Okay, so we've got our green. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna pour it on to this purple one. Ooh, look at that, it's so cool. I love it. Lastly, I'm gonna try this one. And for some reason, it's not looking too hot. Again, I'm not sure if it's something to do with the pigment, but you can clearly see that it was like going white around the edges for some reason. Is it just that there wasn't enough pigment in there? Cause this one was kind of going white too but not as bad. This one is like breaking through, so I'm curious to see how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna leave this, I'm not gonna touch it. I want this to dry perfectly and have a real good chance at fully drying, 
I think, honestly, the best candles are going to be the rose one. I think it's going to be this regular white one. After those two, I think this one is probably going to be the best one with like the, the purple and green, but I guess we'll see. So this candle right here looks pretty perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously I need to cut the wick, but look, it came out really good. I would give this maybe an eight out of 10. I think this is a pretty good candle for my first one. This one, I kind of touched it a little bit thinking, oh, this must be done now. But you can see that my finger went through it. So that's clearly not ready yet. And of course, we've got our rose. That's how that looks. Color-wise, I think it looks pretty good. It obviously broke apart and the bottom looks a bit weird, but no one looks at the bottom really anyway. This one here, I think looks very pretty. I'm pretty happy with the colors of it. I think it looks really nice. The top is not too bad, but there's this weird like fungi looking thing, which is just like air bubbles or something. So overall, I would give this candle out of 10, probably a six. Maybe a seven. I'd give it a seven with a dodgy top. How about that? We had the biggest issue with this one. It just, it looks like, it looks like shite. The top seems to have turned into a prune. I have no idea what happened with this one. Like when I left, it was totally smooth. I don't know why it's done that. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I think I'm just gonna leave the candle making to the professional candle makers like Bloom, because this is how they should look, not like that. But overall, this was a really fun activity. I'll link everything down below. I'll have a link to this candle in the description below if you wanna check it out. But yes, for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.